Welcome everyone to this quick tutorial on how to display opening credits or cutscene. So all you need today is your cutscene, so whatever it is. Um, I've used MP4 with uh, resolution 2080 by 720 because that's the best setting I've found, uh, but you can try uh, playing around with it. Uh, the cutscene itself is simply a video uh, with the credit scroll for almost like any game. I've just created something just quick uh, for the example here. So. The first thing you'll need to do is to take your cutscene and move it to your content folder. So, cut it, and we're gonna go to Unreal Project, my project here, um, and I'm gonna put it in the movie folder I've created earlier for another tutorial. You can create a movie folder yourself or put it whatever you want. I suggest having all your uh, videos at the same place. So there it is. Now going back to Unreal Engine, all you need to do is go to Edit, uh, Project Settings, and under the project tab, there's a movie um, tab here. Just click on it and you'll see there's, there's uh, a startup movie here. So just add something to the array and go select your movie. So again, your content folder inside your movie, uh, inside your content folder, sorry, the movie folder, there's the intro. So I'm just going to select this and you have to check, uh, wait for a movie to complete if you don't want the video to cut as soon as the game finished loading. So check that right here and I just want to make it skippable but that's a preference thing um, you can make it um, skippable or not whatever you like uh, if we try playing the game here it's not gonna display because uh, of course this is the uh, developers tool so you don't want the cutscene to play every time but if you click the launch button here that would be the actual game now if we let it render for a bit here we go the cutscene is gonna display as soon as the game opens and you can have multiple cutscenes, so multiple little videos for different, uh, for example, for different studios. You don't have to make only one movie. Uh, with the array, you can put as many as you like. So that's pretty much it. That's a pretty simple tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments, uh, and I'll try to answer them. And if you have other suggestions for later tutorials, just, again, leave it in the comment. Thank you for watching.